My name is Helga Flores Trejo, and I'm the director of the Heinrich Böll Foundation here in Washington. This is uh, the capital of the West, not only of the United States, possibly the most important capital of the world. I think it's uh, probably the, the richest think tank environment in the world. Washington has a very, very open policymaking environment. Uh, it, the policy is made in a, in a a, a sort of massive soup into which everybody throws ingredients and by the time you're done taste it, you, by the time you're done making it you can't quite figure out where the taste came from it's so easy to make contacts with people in the, in the public administration it's so easy to uh, get uh, to to network uh, compared to other cities where we have offices uh, i can't think of of any uh, other country that has as strong an intellectual presence in Washington uh, as Germany does. And part of it is the Boll Foundation. We have a variety of goals you know, here in Washington. One is to promote transatlantic dialogue on several areas or topics that we care about. Heinrich Boll was always there with a definite persistent question and what does it mean for the environment and what does it mean for women. They focus on issues like climate and energy well before they were in the headlines here. They've looked at democratization uh, and the role of development assistance. Um, occasionally they've looked at um, the role that identity and migration and integration and immigration can play in our societies on both sides of the Atlantic. The Bull Foundation has been a major player here in trying to uh, work with U.S.-based institutions to try to inform uh, the public debate. Uh, it has played a dual role. It has helped a lot of people, particularly but not exclusively Green Party representatives, to make contacts here, to meet people to follow events, and it has at the same time invested a lot of effort to introduce Germany and the Green Party and the Green Family and interesting political and economic and cultural events in Germany to an American audience. So it has been a translator both ways. In a way, we translate in both directions. <laughs> I think it comes down to really to have an impact in, in dialogues and in the program. If you bring together the right people on the right pro project, uh, you can have an impact by, by generating new ideas or by, by transfer ideas from Europe to the United States or the other way around. The Heinrich Boll Foundation has done something in recent years that's really unique, and that is to try and bring small groups of Europeans and Americans together and take them on a trip. I did the one in Russia most recently, uh, which was in the fall of 2007. And very often you see groups of Americans traveling together to a destination or groups of Europeans, but you don't always get the chance to experience that with Europeans or for Europeans with Americans. Often, many people are only hearing one side of the argument, and producing reports like the Perils and Promise, Promise and Perils of Agricultural Trade Legalization allows us to present another, an alternative view. The lunch series that we're doing together for the past year or so, um, in which we bring uh, policy experts from, especially from Germany, but also from Brussels, um, 
uh, to Congress, you know, and that uh, concerns the climate policy uh, arena. It's been enormously helpful to be able to be in Congress, to be in the Congre in the building itself, and to have congressional staff be uh, kept engaged. A study tour where we took U.S. Uh, renewable, local and state renewable energy policymakers over to Germany to study uh, policy best practices, and a lot of those policymakers came back thrilled about the prospect of trying to replicate what Germany has done. And that kind of opened my eyes to how some of the policy best practices are transferable transatlantically. And it's not us for, uh, not an us versus them mentality when it comes to uh, moving forward on climate policy. We can point out to um, partners here that we um, have the global network, that we have uh, the regional offices in developing countries that have a strong um, network of organizations, partners that they are working with, and that we can really draw on their experiences and, and the wealth of expertise that they bring to their work um, with the foundation overall. So that, I think, is a definite plus uh, for our work here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> The Henry Boy Foundation is a great place uh, to create ideas in the discussion between uh, Americans and Europeans and Germans. It's a smaller think tank in Washington, uh, but it packs a really big punch. Well, I think the Heinrich Böll Foundation in Washington is really cutting edge. Global justice, um, gender equality, and sustainable development. International, provocative, and visionary. Helga? <laughs> no, I think uh, uh, green, uh, smart, and uh, long-term. Open-minded, long-term thinking. Personally, I would say also great team. Green, interesting, open-minded. The uniqueness of, of Heinrich Boll is just comes from the people that are here. I, I, I don't have a lot of broad exposure to Heinrich Boll outside of Washington, uh, but uh, you've sent some very talented people here and they've really animated uh, the discussion and we appreciate that. They've been good representatives. That is one of the things I admire most about my colleagues here is, is the dedication. They work very hard and they believe in what they're doing and that uh, makes it an exciting place to work.